In this video we're going to consider um, outliers and box plots. So an outlier is any value which we consider extreme enough um, that we want to discount it from um, most of our statistical analysis. So here we've got a set of data and I'm just going to order it first of all. Um, So now I've got it in order, I'm going to calculate the um, quartile, so Q1, Q2 and Q3. Uh, and the reason I'm going to do that is because I'm going to um, define an outlier in this case as being anything that is 1.5 times the interquartile range above or below the mean. Anything further out than those two values um, is going to be considered an outlier. So Q1, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 bits of data. Um, so it's at 13 over 4, which is going to be um, slightly more than 3. So I'm going to round up to the fourth value. So the fourth value here is 5. Uh, Q2 um, is 13 over 4 times 2, uh, which is going to be 6.5. So that's we're going to use the seventh value, which is 8. And then Q3 is the 13 over 4 times 3, um, which is going to be uh, a little over 9. So I'm going to use the 10th value, which is 11. Um, sorry, so that was the 10th value, which was 11. So the uh, median then is <coughs> Q2, which is 8. Uh, and the interquartile range is 11 minus 5 is 6. So now I'm going to work out my boundary conditions for outliers. So um, upper bound, so it's going to be the median at 1.5 times the interquartile range. So 8 added to 1.5 times 6, uh, which is going to give me 17. So there's one value greater than that, which is 22. So 22 is an outlier. And then um, my lower bound is 8 subtract 1.5 times 6, which is negative 1, which doesn't result in any outliers because it have no um, values lower than minus 1. So how do I then construct a box plot for this? Well, um, I'm going to need a scale. So I need to go at least as high up as 22. Now this type of paper isn't ideal for doing the scale on. Um, you're likely to have um, a section of graph paper available to use in the exam. scale there. I'm just going to mark on it be two, I think. So what values need to go here on my scale? Well, um, I need to mark on the lowest value, which is not an outlier, and there are no um, outliers anyway. So my lowest value here is zero. So I'm going to do a line of zero. The next line I need to do is going to be the lower quartile, so that's Q1, which was 5. And then the median, which was 8. Um, and then the upper quartile, which uh, was 11. And the three quartiles are having the tops and the bottoms joined to actually create a box which is where the box and um, the box plot gets its name from 
and then the the uh, highest value is either the the highest value which is not an outlier though so I don't mark on the 22 so I mark on the second highest which was 14 what I then do is I just join the lines for the highest and lowest value into the box centrally and these are sometimes known as box and whisker diagrams as well and then the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark on any outliers with crosses so I've only got one outlier which is at 22 and that is my completed box box